Hey everybody and welcome back to Exploring Temecula. Today we are going to be talking about four unique things that you can do in Temecula from a local. If you aren't familiar with our channel, we go over all things Temecula from the wineries, local events, the housing market. We also do have a free home search located in the description, so go ahead and check that out if you would like. And please remember to subscribe if you like this video. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is Somerset Winery. Now I know that most people already are familiar with Temecula for having a ton of wineries, but Somerset in my opinion is very different because it's a much smaller winery and it has a really relaxing feel to it. A lot of the larger wineries can feel sort of formal, they feel like you're not really going to have a relaxing time, you can't just let your guard down and hang out and Somerset is awesome for that. They have a giant lawn out front. A lot of people will bring their dogs or their kids and have a little picnic. They also have an outdoor wine bar as well as their indoor wine bar and a giant deck up top. So there's always tons of room to really be able to spread out and relax. Um, a lot of the other wineries also typically close around five or 6 p.m. Somerset stays open on weekends until 9 p.m. and they actually have live music. So they'll bring in local bands uh, or performers and they'll do live music from six to nine so that's one of my favorite parts about Somerset as far as food goes you will need to bring your own food otherwise they have small things inside that you can get chocolate charcuterie board type of items cheese crackers that kind of thing but that makes it really my favorite winery it's just the fact that you can really relax there and enjoy yourself the next thing that I wanted to talk about is blueberry picking so not a lot of people are aware that in the middle of wine country is a blueberry farm. Temecula Berry Company is a smaller blue blueberry farm that is located basically in the heart of wine country. And it's awesome. They typically run from about May to October, depending on the season. And what you do is you just walk in, they'll have a stand, you buy the size uh, container you want. So small is five, medium is 10, large is always my favorite, it's 20. Um, and then you just walk around, you go through the farm, all the, all the bushes and choose your own blueberries. It's a really fun outing for the summertime. A lot of people bring their kids um, and just go through it. I always found that if you go all the way to the back, further than most people are willing to walk, you'll find bushes that are absolutely covered. But it's such a nice experience that I don't know if it's something you really need to go through very quickly. So going for those first bushes that don't have a lot on them is fine. It'll just take you 20 more minutes and you get to soak up the sunshine and hang out on a farm. So it's a really fun, unique thing to be able to do uh, when it is the season for blueberry picking. So the next one I wanted to touch on is Old Town Temecula. Now, if you've ever been to Temecula, I'm hoping you've already been to Old Town. It's basically what I like to think of as a small town's main street. So it has everything. It has a little olive oil company. It has boutique clothing shops, an ice cream shop, and tons and tons of bars and restaurants. So the restaurant I wanna talk about is called Bottega Italia. And this restaurant is awesome. I've absolutely loved everything I've ever gotten there. Their main head chef is actually from Rome and he just won the 2016 Caputo Cup, which is basically a, just a giant pizza competition. And his pizza is the best I've ever had. I actually tried the one of the vegan options and I brought my friends there and they had, we had a pizza, a calzone, and uh, pasta and loved all of it. And they all made me swear that I would take them back there next time they visit. So, I mean, it's just amazing. And on top of that, they have gelato and a bunch of different pastries and sort of bakery type of items. But it's an awesome place. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. Um, and it's a little bit more affordable, in my opinion, than the other restaurants down there. And it gives you more of a fine dining vibe. Uh, so highly recommend. Now the bar, if you're looking for more of like going out, dancing, listening to loud music, that sort of thing, 
Uh, my go-to is always Old Town Pub. It's a lot bigger than most of the other bars that are downtown in Old Town. So you're not crammed in. It has a huge patio and the drinks are a lot, a lot cheaper. Uh, you're gonna be looking at something like a six to $12 drink. Whereas some of the other bars downtown in Old Town can go all the way up to like $16. So it makes for a much more expensive night. So in my opinion, Old Town is awesome. You're gonna get great music, cheaper drinks, and a really good vibe. Everything is spread out, but you can still, you know, always make friends while you're there. It's a very, very chill atmosphere. So our fourth and final unique thing to do in Temecula is going to be a pool day at a winery. So Botea Winery actually offers day passes so you can go and spend the whole day hanging out by their pool. They have a little cafe, cocktail and wine bar down there, and you just pay for the day. So I believe it's $35 for per person for the day for a chase lounge chair where you can hang out and have access to all of that. But I think it's a lot better deal to do the package. So they have a package that's last time I checked, it was $100. For two people, you get two of the lounge chairs, but then you also get a separate little room that has a shower and bath amenities, hair dryer, all of that kind of stuff. Plus, they give you a bottle of sangria per person. So you really don't have to end up spending all of that money at their little cocktail bar. But in my opinion, that's such a great way to sort of have a vacation style day, a little getaway for the day. Um, and it's a lot more affordable than going for the $35 and then buying all of your own drinks. So uh, that would be just such a fun, unique thing to do. And my favorite thing is afterwards, I think the pool closes around five, you go on up to their 21 and up deck and watch the sunset. So it's just such a beautiful thing to be able to do um, and sort of different. Not a lot of people know that there would be a winery that happens to have a pool there but it's a really, really fun time and a beautiful, beautiful winery. So there you have it guys. That is our four unique things to do in Temecula from a local. I hope I gave you some ideas on things that you can try out. If you do do any of these items, please let me know. I would love to hear from you what you thought and please subscribe if you liked this video and we'll see you next time on Exploring Temecula.